The first step towards completely removing human intervention in developing AI has finally happened. The potential of self-reflection and self-improvement by ChatGPT, GPT-4, or any other large language models has proven to be extremely effective, as seen in the abundance of research published in the past two weeks. This AI self-organization is so powerful that even OpenAI CEO Sam Altman says that the end game of AI alignment is pretty much AI training and aligning itself, not us. This sheds light on how GPT-5 might be trained and how much stronger it may be. But while that would still be speculation from me, let's take a closer look at these recursive language models that may have just opened a new door for AI development. Starting with autonomous language models, which are programs designed to let language models run completely and continuously by themselves until they either reach an end goal or hit your API usage cap. There are currently two of them. One is called AutoGPT, designed for GPT-4 API calls, and the other is called Baby AGI, built for both GPT-4 and open source Llama models. For those who don't know, Llama models are essentially GPT-4 but slightly weaker versions that you can run on your own computer for free because they are open sourced. And both of them demonstrate some really interesting task handling capabilities. With AutoGPT, you can name it, describe its role like running a business, give it a few more well-defined goals and run it until it reaches your specific goal, or have it running endlessly. The AutoGPT system can run continuously because it spawns a very variety of different instances to interact with each other, like a thoughts instance, a reasoning instance, a planning instance, and a criticism instance. These instances interact with each other and aim to perform the task you specified, while also completing site quests needed to get there. For example, if you want a newsletter with the latest AI news, you can set it to continuously go through Twitter and highlight or summarize the latest information for you by bouncing this task between these instances. So a fully AI-generated daily newsletter is theoretically a possible task for AutoG and this is only achievable thanks to AutoGPT providing a textual gateway for GPT-4 to browse the internet too, a function that AutoGPT provides GPT-4 indirectly. But as a side note, it is potentially dangerous to leave it running continuously because it can do something you don't want it to do, like creating Python codes that could crash your own PC or preach about how GPT-4 is sentient on Twitter. On the other hand, how AutoGPT browses the web may still be less powerful than GPT-4 plugins that directly implement web browsing into GPT-4. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, I am still on the waitlist, but AutoGPT is an open source project, meaning a lot of functions are being added by many people, like making the AI speak its output using Eleven Labs, a text-to-voice synthesizer service, or having a memory using Pinecone, a vector-based memory that loads relevant information into AutoGPT for GPT-4. The possibilities are endless with the number of functions you can add, like browsing the web and how you connect them. The same applies to Baby AGI, and since they both function quite similarly, I won't go into many details here, Baby AGI essentially takes in objectives and tasks that the user inputs and completes them. Then it generates new tasks based on the completed results and manages these additional tasks itself with prioritization and cleaning in mind. And all of these are managed by multiple language model instances. It's designed to run infinitely, which can yield some pretty interesting results as it is based on goals it received initially and generated itself later on. In contrast, AutoGPT lets the user specify the goals that need to be reached more specifically. There is a lot of potential to do really interesting things like improving codes, writing files on your computer like Python scripts and executing them, or getting stuck in an infinite loop in an attempt to improve its own code. And of course, there is also an AutoGPT code Chaos GPT that attempts to cause mayhem with goals to destroy humanity, establish global dominance, cause destruction, control humanity through manipulation, and attain immortality. It's pretty clever how it tries to store important information like what's the best nuclear bomb to wipe out most people using Pinecone, which is the vector-based memory that I mentioned earlier. But since I'm still here making this video, that means Chaos GPT did not achieve its objective, so it is pretty limited in the scale of the tasks that it can perform, and world domination still has a long way to go. Hugging GPT, aka Jarvis, is also very similar to the previous two autonomous AI programs, but instead, it has the ability to run other pre-trained models, ranging from image segmentation, text-to-image, text-to-video, object recognition, image understanding, and many more. Pretty much all of the hugging face models are available for this hugging GPT. To be honest, it seems very similar to Visual Chat GPT that I covered in an earlier video, but it's way better due to GPT-4's capabilities. It basically uses GPT-4 to identify the tasks, select the models, execute the tasks depending on the required models, and then generate its response. It's made explicitly to delegate tasks to other models, and I think combining the previous autonomous programs with hugging GPT could 
potentially give us some multi-model capabilities in executing tasks. While its performance is still pretty weak compared to GPT-4's image understanding capabilities demonstrated in their demo, it's only a matter of time before these AIs get better. Some research has shown that the autonomous, self-reflective nature of GPT-4 can drastically improve its model by itself, such as being able to criticize its own generations. Adding multi-model capabilities on top of these to train super strong language models might just be around the corner. I think alignment and the reward function will be the last parts requiring human intervention, as the FB Alpaca research has already shown that results generated by different models can be used as data sets for the other, rather than human-generated text. The future is definitely going to become a mystery, as AI will become less and less dependent on humans and make progress in ways we can't even comprehend. Before I end this video, let me share with you that this progress is not limited to just software too. NVIDIA recently released the Auto DMP paper, where they use a multi-object hyperparameter optimization technique to tackle a physical design problem for transmitters. This is apparently automated too now? It seems the release of the H100 is going to set a whole new generation of foundation models and turn the world upside down. And to be honest, there are so many more GPT-4 or language model applications out there that I don't think I have time to cover all of them today. For example, there's a guy who built a workflow to create an entire web app from scratch with just his voice, and I think GPT-4 probably did something along the way. Or memory GPT that can hold long-term memories and recall things from previous or other conversations that you had with it. The list goes on. This AI timeline is moving incredibly fast, and sometimes it's pretty hard to keep up with everything myself too. So a shout out to my Discord community. There's also a lot of new non-language model research out there and I want to cover them and share them with you guys. So this might be my last GPT related video for a while, but let me know if you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Alex Marie's, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.